Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Prepping USA. I'm the Ancient Warrior. I'm in Amarillo, Texas today. I happen to stop in to visit their they're having a preparedness expo. And uh, I hate to say it, but it was a bust. It, it was basically a show and tell. We're going to show you all the toys we've got to play with and give you no information. I walked through and got to look inside a SWAT vehicle. I got to see the inside of an ambulance and, you know, basic stuff like that. Red Cross was out doing a, a blood drive. Their blood bank was there doing their blood drive. But nobody was giving subsident uh, information. There was nobody telling you, telling people how much food, how much water, how much anything, what to do. Get your children ready for a rally point. So we're going to go through those. I think I've done them before, but, you know, some 60 videos ago, I can't remember what I've done and what I haven't. So let's start with... A tornado has just walked through your area. If you live in an area where tornadoes happen, great. If you live in an area where earthquakes happen, think of it like that. Or an area where hurricanes happen, think of it like that. Now, with tornadoes and, her and earthquakes, you don't get a lot of, lot of forewarning sometimes. So let's look at this. Let's talk about kids to start with. You need to train your children that if they're home, they go to a rally point. That's a point where everybody meets. They don't waste any time. They don't stop and pick up bugs off the ground or stuff. They go to the rally point after an emergency. They don't stop and talk to strangers or anything. They get to the rally point. I know this day and age, kids cannot, a lot of kids can't carry cell phones and stuff to school. But if your school allows it, please, make sure your kids have a cell phone. And make sure that the minute something happens they keep it in their backpack and their backpacks close to them they turn it on get it turned on so that you can contact them or in you know god forbid it's a school shooting they can call and tell you what's going on but make sure your kids your family Everybody in your family knows where the rally point is. Then turn around and make sure everyone has an emergency backpack ready to go. You know, let's look at what's happened down the past. You know, heck, just look up to the Carolinas and East East Coast right now where the where the hurricanes hit those folks need help but some of them doesn't need as much help as others because they were prepared they instead of throwing the wood away that they boarded their house up with last year or the year before or three years, they kept it. And they marked which window it went on. A few of them had sandbags. So they could bag up, sandbag around their house. 
You know, it's things like that, folks, that allows you to be prepared. But focusing on the kids to make sure that they understand, no matter how old they are, you know, if they're five and older, you need to point out and stress to them that if something happens and I'm not there to be with you, go to this place. Go to so-and-so's house. And have an agreement with, with some other families that, hey, my kids make, may make their way to your house. Can they stay there with you? And go from that. You know, that's basically all I can tell you on that. So, this is the Ancient Warrior. I'm sorry I've been away from you guys so long. Uh, I'm planning on a show every day this week. Uh, so, let's get into preparedness. It's that time of the year. Alright? You have a good and blessed day. This is the Ancient Warrior. And I'm gone. <laughs>